Okay, and after our Oracle database is shut down, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to execute our trace SQL script. And the at sign basically tells SQL plus, execute the SQL plus commands which are on trace.sql. And I'm actually going to take a one more quick peek at that file. And we see that it's going to do a startup no mount, and then it's going to do a create control file, and then it's going to base rename the payroll, basically it's going to be renamed the pay me, basically what that's going to do. Okay, so that being the case, let's go ahead and let's execute that file. Trace.sql. Oracle instance started because it does a startup no mount. The next thing you should see Oops. We didn't move our file. <laughs> Payroll01 dbf to pay me one that dbf. Pay me one that dbf. There it is. We'll do a shutdown of board because nothing's really started. And now we'll do our uh, trace SQL again. Execute that script again. Oracle instance started because it's a startup no mount. And the next thing we should say is control file created. There it is. And now when we do an alter, now we do a select open mode from the database. So now we got to do an alter. It's mounted, so we have to do an alter database open. Now when we do select name from the dollar sign data file, we will see that we have renamed payroll back to pay me with this other method. And if we do select uh, table space name from DBA table spaces, we will see that pay me. And if we do a select, and let's, you know, while we're here, let's do a uh, alter table space pay me rename to um, payroll. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we don't want to do that because pay me is we named it back to what it should be. Pay me. And if we do a select table space name and file name from DBA data files where table space name is equal to pay me, we will see that it's the pay me table space and the data file is pay me zero one that DBF. So those are the ways to rename. A data file. Now, this doesn't take into account some advanced Oracle file mechanisms such as OMF, Oracle Managed Files, or ASM, Automatic Storage Management, um, um, or um, you know any other things that you could be, or raw logical volumes, or whatever else you're using as Oracle storage. For that, Oracle supports a lot of different storage mechanisms for their uh, data files. Okay, so it doesn't take into account all of that. Okay, but this is just a way to um these are the three ways that i showed you here to rename your data file and of course rename in the table space we did as the first thing in the, in the video series here okay so that's how you do it and i will see you in the next oracle video